Let's take a look at the Harvey numbers this morning as we continue to update you on the aftermath. It will be one week tonight since Hurricane Harvey made landfall. It is still a tropical depression this morning and the death toll keeps rising. Take a look at the numbers here. It is at 39 right now. The floodwaters. Well, they are expected to recede from most of Houston and surrounding areas by later today, early tomorrow. And as we enter this holiday weekend, the Labor Day weekend, rumors of a possible gas shortage from Harvey are swirling across the region. Everybody started last night. Fill up your cars, fill up your cars. Well, we've seen panic buying. People wanting to top off their tanks, make sure their tanks are full. Panic buying has caused what's being called an artificial gas shortage in Texas. And as a result, stations are raising gas prices and some are actually running out of gas. But experts say there is not a gas shortage, that there's plenty of gas in Texas with more on the way. But what about right here in Georgia? Governor Deal is urging drivers not to worry, even though the gas prices are climbing. Our commuter dude Jerry Carnes joins me live now. So, Jerry, how high could our gas prices potentially go? Uh, good morning, Sheba. We were just on Barrett Parkway up here in Cobb County and saw gas for over $3 a gallon for premium, $2.75 for regular unleaded. So that's what we're dealing with as a lot of people head out for trips on this long holiday weekend. Georgia Governor Nathan Deal is asking people to conserve when it comes to buying gasoline because driver behavior could drive the price of gas even higher. In the wake of Harvey, shipments of crude oil are having trouble getting to refineries along the Gulf, and as a result, those refineries are struggling to produce fuel that can be delivered to Metro Atlanta. Colonial Pipeline has resumed sending fuel from Louisiana eastward. That's good news, although Colonial says deliveries will be intermittent depending on supply. Emory economist Tom Smith says gas prices here could eventually average over $3 a gallon. He says panic buying by customers could drive the price of gas even higher. I think it's I think it's probably going to peak in maybe the next seven to eight days, but I don't think it's going to last more than about two weeks. By us going out and buying more fuel than we normally would, because we think there's going to be a shortage, can actually cause prices to increase more than they would. So here's a little more good news. The EPA is now allowing Georgia and some other states to switch over to the cheaper winter blend of gasoline. So that should keep prices down some. But the average right now in Metro Atlanta is $2.59 a gallon. That's an increase of 30 cents over the last five weeks. And all of this as we prepare a lot of people at least to take some trips here, drive uh, to some destinations over the long holiday weekend. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks a lot, Jerry Carnes.